Alright, I've seen one trailer for this game. I loved the first game. Absolutely loved the first Layers of Fear. The, sh the trailer for this one caught me completely off guard because I had no idea that Layers of Fear 2, that there even was a, a Layers of Fear 2. And then all of a sudden I see it advertised on the Xbox home screen. And I was like, what the shit? I didn't know that this was a thing, but I'm so happy that it is. Because I loved the first game. Oh. The visuals look awesome already! Yes. Oh. Goodness. I don't- Oh. Oh yeah, something about a ship. I remember that from the trailer. I saw literally one trailer for this game. And it looked neat. It looked different from from the first Layers of Fear. I don't know if I play the same person and or his daughter, like in the DLC or the daughter. Um, but it looks like this takes place like on an old timey cruise ship or something. That's really cool. I've been on a number of cruises myself, and I just I love I love cruises. So this is particularly. All right. Okay, so I think that's the same as before, or very, or very similar. So, hello and welcome to the chat. Oh, goodness. We almost had it. <laughs> what? What? The unmooring. Okay, it took me a bit to make that out because that cursive, at least the bottom word is really hard to read. The unmooring. Okay. Alright. Interesting beginning. You've got my attention. Layers of fear. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. You will play your part. You will stay awake. Oh, I didn't think the game was that boring. Toys? Time waits for no one. Actor. Do not Actor. waste hours. How does he know about my community and theater career? Alright. So long, I have struggled to finish what was started. I had nearly lost hope, and yet here we are. I'm guessing this is somebody completely different from the first game. But another sort of troubled artist character, maybe? So what I'm thinking, because, you know, you had a painter in the last one, and you have a, uh, an actor in this one. Build the character, connect the memories, dreams, and prepare for the big role. Hope you settled in all right. Remember what we talked about. Focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find the motivation. Build the character. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I'll try to keep in touch. Travel safe. Your friend and agent. I noticed that there's no name. Build the character. Oh. I. Oh. Blank, 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 blank. Act. Blank. Blank. Nay. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Interesting. This is a lovely, lovely bed. Oh, I can't open that. I'm liking this location. This is this is neat. Like it's similar to the first one, but you can tell it's it's still different. And it's gonna sound weird, but I really like the little medley, the little music from the first game. I mean, it's nothing like hugely dramatic, but it was just I liked it. I liked the atmosphere. That was what really grabbed me in the first game. Um, was the atmosphere, which if you guys would like. I'm just going to leave that because I'm a bad person. <laughs> uh, if you guys would like to see uh, my stream that I did of the original Layers of Fear. It's going to leave off. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness. Okay. Um, you are more than welcome to. That should be in my stream history. Wait, where's the door? Okay, zoom in. Alright. 
Oh, that's right. Um, let's see, is there a key? No. <laughs> oh, oh! That's like really sharp incline. That would kind of freak me out a little bit, I think. But I... Weird things, weird things kind of freak me out, so... Oh. Get it, get it. Esteemed traveler, the room has been set up as per your request. The reel was delivered shortly before departure. We wish you a fulfilling journey. Respectfully, Icarus Transatlantic. Alright. Uh, thank you for seeing to my request, however odd as it may be. Oh. I thought that there was going to be something up here. <laughs> oh, look at that. That thing's cool. I like it. I wish I had it in my house. Alright, where's a key? I have to find, like, a key somewhere. I wonder if there's going to be something up on those wall, that wall. I bet there is. I bet something is going to go up on that wall. There's no key up here? What was the point of coming up here? Can I open this door? Oh! <laughs> I have trouble with doors in this game sometimes. Oh, who am I kidding? I have troubles with doors in general. Uh. Alright, there we go. Let's see what this is all about. One, in his time, plays the parts of many men. He observes the others, while the others watch him. He's expected to behave properly, wandering through worlds that aren't really there. He puts on masks and adjusts accordingly. Each mask is a character, each character a layer. Layers upon layers, calling out to him. He must build the character he was meant to portray. Or lose himself. Completely. Submerged. Tightly surrounded by lives he's never lived. And yet, he stands on a stage where every man must play a part. And his is a sad one. Okay. The unmooring act. Is that a one or an L? Cursive is weird. Stop using it. <laughs> Not cursive in general. Just this this cursive. Uh, okay. All right. I'm not really following this one quite as well as the first game, but let's give it a second here. Build a character. Hi, Skittles. Sorry, my cat is headbutting my hand. Hey, buddy. I know you're you're cute. You're cute, I know. I know. Build a character. Preparation. Explore. Who am I? Where am I? Skittles, why are you licking my leg, you weirdo? Alright. <sighs> These mirrors are disgustingly filthy. Apparently it's really hard to find a good uh, ship staff these days. Alright, do I need to get a costume on there? Because I could come up with something. I mean, there's there's plenty of them here. Uh, let's see. Is there a flashlight? No! I don't think there was any other game either. Okay. Oh! Ooh! It is so nice. So, 
Um, I actually didn't really notice. It must have been different. Yeah. Um, but, so the first game was all like, you know, you go into a room, you turn around, you open the door again, and everything's different. I hope this one utilizes the same thing. Or th at least, at least sometimes. And I think it will because the game got pretty well known doing that. Also, in the first game, it let me play the piano. Fine. Don't. See if I can. I loved how clever it could be. It wasn't just like, you know, you opened a door and then, you know, it closed and then you turned around to open it again and it was different. I mean, it did that, but it was also more creative than that. Quit it. I'm monologuing. It was also... Why am I hearing whispers? God. It was more creative than that and that you could be in the same room and, like, turn around and things would be different. And I remember at one point... Okay, just a sec. I was in a room and there was a window and I was looking through the window and as I turned around, I was in the room that I had Listen, been looking. once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. Okay, as I was saying. And then I was in the room that I had been looking through the window at. Like, it really messed with my mind. Like, it was trippy as hell. It was cool. So, I would like to see more stuff like that. That was pretty creative. Yep, this looks kind of familiar sight to me. If you guys, if, you know, if you haven't been on a cruise before, obviously I know it's not, you know, 100% doable for everyone. But, if you do get the opportunity to do it, even a, you know, a little bit cheaper one. Oh. Just absolutely do it, because... This is how I believe time it really is. I'd love to go on a Mediterranean cruise sometime. It's kind of my dream. I've been on Caribbean cruises so far. And I do love them. I absolutely love them. Um... My someday dream would be a Mediterranean or European cruise. I don't know about this. I've... I had a creepy elevator sequence in the first game. Oh, well, it doesn't look like I can... What the fuck is with these whispers? Rude. Yeah, yeah. I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the sea. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Okay, so, this gig, I assume, being an actor in a show on the cruise. Which, cruises have really, really freaking cool entertainment. I've seen, uh, hair, uh, hair, hairspray. I saw hairspray on a cruise ship. Um, <laughs> that was really cool. There's some other really neat shows, off-Broadway productions. Um, but, whoa! Already? I have a creepy elevator sequence already. I just... I just got in here, game. I just... Be nice. Okay. And it does creep me out a little bit, even just that, because I've been in elevators... Well, one elevator like this. Old style. Very similar to that elevator. Um, the college that I went to, the um, university that I graduated from, uh, had an elevator in that style. You had to shut the inside door, it looked just like this, and then the outside doors would shut automatically. Um, and I never had any creepy experiences on that elevator, but the elevator itself was just kind of creepy. <laughs> Luckily it was reliable, I never had it like, you know, get stuck or anything. There's some other ele elevators at school that I had less fun experiences on, but they weren't as creepy looking. They weren't... Okay, these whispers are really weirding me out. They are loud. All third class passengers this way, please. Did you check the lower decks this time? I swear to God, if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. 
Well, that's just unnecessary. Also, they do not do that first class, second that class, ugh, third class bullshit. I don't know a cruise line that does it. Certainly Royal Caribbean, which is the only cruise line I've sailed with, does not do that. Um, <laughs> this is trippy. Um, you can pay for like a suite. I've never done this, by the way, but you know, if you pay for one of like the really, really expensive suites, um, you can get like your own little like private pool or something like on a deck or a hot tub or something like that on a deck. But there's no places for the most part that you can't go. I mean, there are like some restaurants that require a surcharge, but anybody has the option of of paying for those for that. Like there is some cruise line where. Passengers who pay for the expensive suites have kind of access to like their own little pool deck. I'm not a big fan of that, and as far as I know, Royal Caribbean doesn't do that. Because that, that kind of, to me... Okay, I thought it was going to interrupt and talk for a sec. To me, that kind of makes me think of like, you know, private areas, you know, like first class, second class thing, and I don't like that. I think that's needs to be done away with entirely, but it's, you know... <sighs> The cruise lines that I really am more familiar with, like a Royal Caribbean and and a Carnival, although Royal Caribbean's the only one I've been on, don't do anything like that. It's not even like planes. The new procedures came into force as of next week. The company holds you personally re responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all of the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidences of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure this does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. All right. Okay. So far, nothing spooky, nothing spooktacular yet. Give it time, give it time. All right. But you do absolutely get used to this kind of little bit of like you know, going back and forth, back and forth on a cruise ship. I've never gotten gotten seasick on a cruise. Um, nobody in my family has really gotten seasick either. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. Are they talking about the dude from the first game? Which is kind of funny that in the first game you get this kind of wavering side-to-side -side vision because the dude that you're playing as walks with a limp. But in this one you get the same... Okay. <laughs> you get the same, um... What was... Okay. You kind of get the same side-to-side -side motion as you're walking, but for totally different <laughs> reasons. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, what? I kind of missed that. I was looking down. Not sure what that was. But I'm effectively a little bit spooked now, game. A little bit spooked. Alright. Fascinating. Getting with the whispers. It's reminding me of a uh, Senua, Senua, Sen Senua's Hellblade or some Hellblade. Is that the game? Senua's Sacrifice. I think that's what it was. Whispers talking constantly. I know it was to betray a point that she's you know like like psychosis like psychosis is you know present or something. Wait. I got- oh my god! I got an achievement! For typing an SOS just because I happened to know it. Oh my god. That- that was good. I was just like, let's just type the only one that I know. And sure enough, it- okay. That was cool.
What? 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 Okay. Hmm. I wonder how many other people just typed that out in there. Got that achievement. Probably a lot, because it's a pretty obvious one. But, okay. Um...